this is a week of posture. Now, I'm not talking about sitting upright, not talking about slouching. I'm talking about Paul's posture language in the book or letter we call Ephesians. This is I'm not adequate to be in fellowship with the divine God. But Christ is adequate, and he is in that fellowship, and he is seated in the heavenly places. And as a Christian, my posture begins with that same seated in Christ. But because we are seated with Christ in the heavenlies, in other words, we, we share in his resurrection. We share in his victory over sin and the grave. We're no longer bound to sin and death, but now we are able to walk, Paul says, in the good works that God has prepared beforehand for us to walk in them. Okay. Now think about that for just a moment. God has called us as his children, and we need to walk in a manner that's worthy of that call. And Paul explains what that is. He says that we're to walk, peripateo, to go around in this life with all humility and gentleness. You walk in love. And when Paul talks about love there, he contrasts it between walking in sexual immorality and impurity. Because for some people, love has been reduced down to what makes them feel good. But for Paul, we're to walk in agape love, which is a love of service to others. We love people in a way for what they get out of it, not us. It's a natural contrast to sexual impurity. And so we're to walk today in ways that show a genuine care and concern for others not for ourselves. And Paul calls this a little later on, walking as children of the light. The evil one is able to scheme against us by tempting us to do things we shouldn't be doing. Now you say, well, I haven't been tempted to kill anybody, or maybe you yeah, have, I don't know. But, but the temptations, the, the deadly sins aren't simply murder. We need to understand the, 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 the biblical injunction, the, the strong temptation against gossip, against slander, against uh, uh, this any enmity, bitterness, divisiveness, hatred. How about vanity? How about greed? The temptations to walk in these things are ones where the Christian needs to take a stand. But there's a whole nother area of Satan's schemes that involves accusations. He'll accuse you. You're not good enough. You, you fail. You're a failure. You might as well give up. Revelation calls Satan the accuser of the brethren. No, the believer can take a, a stand against him knowing we aren't good enough on our own, but we're seated with Christ. He has no right to make that accusation against those with Christ. We walk as God walks. Do we fall? Yes. Do we make mistakes? Yes. But we repent, we confess. And so we've got to take a stand. How do we do that? Paul says to put on the armor of Christ. You want to know about that? Tune in next week. Those will be our video thoughts for the day.